What's up guys, Waitism here, ready to go ahead and bring you Life is Strange Episode 2, Part 2. Uh, last episode, we just finished up in the showers, and we're about to leave the bathroom. Rachel's a whore. Lovely. Here we go. I have my sound muted. Let me unmute that. Okay. I wanted to hear, you'd be able to hear the stuff too, but I wanted to make sure that I could hear it as well. So here we go. This is Dana's room. We could talk to Dana, Brooke. Let's speak to Brooke, I hey, guess. Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Hmm. Taylor's room. Knock. I was supposed to meet my friend, but I kind of want to go around and meet the floor because I feel like I haven't done that yet. Also, I want to talk to this person, Dana. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Coming to the party. Coming to the party? You know what? Why not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Hmm. Contraception pills? That's not weird. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Let's talk. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? I guess I'll say that's not cool. That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touché. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Yay! See, being a good person works out. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh, that's the Logan one. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Okay, we talked to Brooke, Stella, Taylor, Juliet. But that's Juliet. I'm confused. Kate? I need to get dressed before I go there. Okay. What the fuck is this? No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Well, might as well tidy up the mess that Victoria clearly caused. Ta-da! I do love a clean room. Very zen. 
Except for that bullshit graffiti. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. We better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Ha! I can move time. Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, okay, but yeah, I have we a did green that. finger. We're not gonna water that. Uh, sticky notebooks, photos, what else we got? Art books, play, open. Message. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Well. That's a shame. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. Oh, private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Mmm, cool. Fucking, you're tough, aren't you? Loser. Another journal entry already? Jeez, you gotta stop writing. I woke up this morning a different person, even if nobody knows yet. After my life, after yesterday's intense relation... <laughs> fuck, fuck! After yesterday's intense revelations with my rewind power and saving Chloe's life among the other cray-cray, as Victoria might say, say... Events at Blackwell. I have to assume everything is different now, and I thought exposing my photos to the world was going to be hard. After Chloe dropped me off back at the dorm yesterday, I tried to find out more about that freak snowfall that happened when we were at the lighthouse, but the local meteorologists have stumped are stumped so far. I felt so jacked up that I pulled an all-nighter on time and re physics research. Not being born, I ended up knowing less about my situation than when I started. I don't really think that my tornado vision and the snowfall are connected, but at this point I have no fucking clue what to believe. I'm just so glad Chloe and I are a team again. That has to be destiny. Now I have to hit the showers and get ready to meet Chloe for breakfast. Lord knows I need it. I ran to Kate in the showers and she asked for the October Country back. I love that book and definitely need to get my own copy. Of course, when I was in the shower, Victorian Taylor barged in and totally started ragging on poor Kate about the video. Just to be complete assholes, they wrote the link on the mirror. I truly don't understand how they get off on acting like that. Victoria has everything. What does she gain by being a bully to Kate Marsh? We're supposed to be adults here, but I swear it's like Battle Royale, just without the dystopia and exploding heads. Only Victoria could make me feel dirty in a shower. Oh, shit. We're gonna keep on top now of that. I'm Good getting check anonymous that. threats. It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. Fine, I won't disturb you. Brooke was over there. No Brooke here. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. Okay, got your book. Yeah, look at everything. Kate up. is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you. We hope you haven't brought shame on you and your family. We pray for you, accept you to pray for forgiveness, and expect <laughs> your mother. <laughs> mm. I hope you have not dishonored our ancestors. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Poor girl. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Just want to look at everything. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. 
I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. When justice is done, it brings when justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evil do terror to the evildoers. My gosh. Tongue twisters Damn, there. It's the all American zombie family. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. That's interesting. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Ouch. She left out amnation. Dear Kate, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. Jesus. Jesus. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. I took a picture of a bunny. Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. John 1 5. Kate, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. Hugs and love, pop. Look at the photo. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. That's interesting. I'm like a detective. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. Let me check something real quick because... So I got a bunny. There's a sunset. There's a donut. There's a dog bone. Fire walk with me. Okay, one, four, two. I'm not gonna remember all that. I'm gonna go with a gun. So here we go. Oh, what drawing? I don't think I looked at that. Good lord, this must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. All right, Kate. Cheer up. Um, hey, Kate. I brought your book. There you book. go. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. I won't either. Thank you, Max. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember That's what I'm thinking. I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? What a fucking All I recall scumbag. is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. 
Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. Man, this that's is so serious gross. shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? Yeah. I know it's already spreading. You don't. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Wow. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Look for proof, because you need proof with this guy. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. I'm trying to help you. What the fuck? Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Oh, please don't kill yourself. God, I feel like that's like an ending this game would provide. Not because it's a morbid game, but because... Max, food. Two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. Okay, wait. I want to knock on this bitch's door. Answer your goddamn door. Fine, I won't disturb you. You fucking poor. I feel like a woman playing this game. It's demoralizing. Who's Juliet? Juliet's in the other room. Oh. See? What? Go away! People sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. Who's Taylor? Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Can I speak to her again? Because I'd like to say don't watch the video, please. Really, Max? God, everyone's such an ass. I, I would, I would go around talking to people all the time when I was in college. People didn't say shit. Why is everyone so mean here? Jeez. I try to make friends with everybody on my floor, at least, at the bare minimum. The birds are flocking around Samuel. You know, I thought you kidnapped her, but at this point with this school, I don't think you did. Ah, there's Samuel, up early. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. God, you're crazy. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. So creepy. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. 
like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Yeah. So, what did you, you think about that freak about snow you. shower yesterday? Maybe. Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. <laughs> but I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Man, you're so creepy, dude. But I feel like you wouldn't have done that. Football. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? Totem. Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. Food waste? How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I could use this to attract at least the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Hey. Hey, check it out. It's a nice donut, huh? Now we'll go way over here. Take a picture yes. of you. Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. There you go. Gotcha. Got that nice pick. I'll just check in here. Water pump. That's what we'll look at. I definitely won't play with this thing again. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? All right, now I'm weird I've again. I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident and oh. too easy to sneak into. You're making me feel weird. Getting a chill up my spine. This guy's just weird. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Hello again, Samuel. Hello again yourself, Max. Let's talk about Rachel, dude. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but... Why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. I know people who cared for her. People who are looking for her. If she can be found? Like you. That's the nature of mystery. It's no mystery that you have her pictures. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. I found out what I needed to know. And now I will erase your memory. For I am justice. Hello again, Samuel. Hello again. I saw. Uh, of course you will. Yeah, bye, bye, bye. You shall never know, you fool, that I have found the truth. Hey, Taylor. Hey, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk. Let's just talk, for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Let's see if you have a heart. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why like do it. you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Taylor. Conversation over. Maybe if I... 
I poke enough holes in their friendship, she'll stop being loyal to that asshole. Private number. What? God, what? This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you'll last. Consider this a final polite warning. Hey, <laughs> go fuck yourself, boy. I'm gonna get your son fucked, dude. Max, come on over here. Let's speak. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Yeah, thank you, dude. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Just a pirate. Just a pirate I used to know. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. He's not. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. I probably should be making plans with everybody. I just realized that. Go take the bus. I'm coming, I'm on my way, I'm on a bus ride to you, Chloe. What? This isn't the bus, this is the courtyard. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. I am getting this feeling that David's not even the bad guy. I think he just wants justice for justice's sake. He was a soldier. He is a, he is a dick, but I think that's all he knows, is being a soldier. know though. Man, this begs so many questions. I feel like I'm making bad choices, but... Oh, please don't listen to music. I'm gonna have to skip it all. God damn it. Do do. No, I'm not gonna... I couldn't be obnoxious and hum along to the whole thing, but I'll just... I'll just... Uh, fucking copyright. God damn it. I'm so frustrated. Man, my back hurts. All right, let's get to that restaurant because I got to meet up with my friend who I'm obnoxiously late for again because of my curious nature. But if I don't explore, I'm gonna miss something. So, such is life. Keep looking around. It's an interesting town that's gonna get destroyed by a tornado. Who's on the bus? Taylor and Juliet, I believe their names are. Or Taylor and Dana. Ah, oh, God, I mix them up. I've got Evan in front of me and some some lady in a green shirt, green sweatshirt rather. Not lady, probably kid. I don't know what you call that. Young lady. Yeah, or young man. Oh, a police car. All right, I'm here. I'm here. Friend, I wish for breakfast. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. What? I wouldn't dream of it. What? I'm going to be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. No time for chit-chat. I'm a millionaire. 
Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Okie dokie. I've got to explore this whole parking lot, and then after I'm done exploring this parking lot, we're gonna have to go inside. Hole to another universe. <laughs> a lot of jokers in this town. A lot of hipsters that think they're really funny. This game is all about RV. This is the same RV that was parked before. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Obviously, nobody took my advice. Yo, Chloe, chill, chill, chill. Alright? I'm literally right outside. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Running late. Grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Hey. Oh, stop that. Stop. No barking. Wait. I want to say hi to the dog. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. What can I do to give this dog something? Maybe I can get some bacon in the restaurant? Toss it some bacon? It's a breakfast place, right? Maybe I can sneak around the back. Nope. Guess not. Alright. Flyers. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Save our bay. What about you, fisherman? Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. How has the town changed? Has Tell me the, the deets. I need all the deets. By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. By Neptune's beard. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. There you go, Max. Assimilate with the town people. Get the people on your side. With numbers, you can... You can... You can win. <laughs> it's supposed to be motivational, but... Read the paper. Snow. Well, that's a good well, start to the story. Well, snow. How do you do, Excuse sir? Me. Sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. Oh my God. You can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! I want to back up slowly. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Hmm. That told me nothing. Homeless. Do I have any change to give this poor, poor fella? Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. 
I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. Mm. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. Tell me How information. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I feel like I'm a... I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes? What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. Have you met Joyce's daughter? Cute girl. Pissed off. I used to see her and her pretty friend, uh, Rachel, around the lot. got a notepad. Rachel Amber. Do you know anything about Rachel Amber? That missing girl? I know she's missing. And I know she hung out here a bit. Sometimes I'd see her walking, all by herself, deep in thought. Too damn young and pretty to look so worried. Did you talk to her? Once or twice she'd talk to me about trouble in school, wanting to be some model in California. She was always distant, but nice. I pray the poor thing is all right, but you can't save everybody. I have to go now. Goodbye. Interesting. Quite a wealth of information that person had. I guess if you're homeless and all you can do is, you know, be homeless. Don't do shit like that. Take a photo of the dog? Sure, why not? Take any and all photos. Alright. Well, there's nothing else back here. But I definitely want to make sure that we explore every inch of this town. I don't even know if if I can go down further I might even. Nope, oh. I don't want to go there. Uh Okay, can I cross the street? I don't want to go that way. <laughs> okay. Well, then we're going into the diner. But first, let's check this. Yep. The plot thickens and I can't get out. So after listening to Victoria and Taylor rag on Kate about the video, I came back to my room to find this creepy photo montage. Only Nathan would be this disturbed. The thought that Nathan was in here actually setting up this weird gallery is way fucked up. I better start being more careful around here. I almost want a surveillance system now. <laughs> LOL. Fuck! I shouldn't have signed that friggin' paper! Man, I shouldn't have stuck it to the man. I should have thought about the greater good. That's that's the real quest about democracy, isn't it? Is the greater good worth more than your individual freedoms? Man. Deep stuff. As if things weren't as if things here weren't dramatic enough, I got a creepy text from a private number. Nathan, Victoria, no clue. I really want to have I really have to start watching my back. I still had to give Kate's book back, so I went to her room. I knew she wasn't doing well. But I didn't know how bad until I went in. All the lights were off, blinds were closed, like some emo goth den. And Kate is just the opposite of emo or goth. She was just crying in the dark, and it was so sad to see her like this. More sad is that I wished I could take her picture. Take a picture of her framed in her expressionist misery. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Kate admitted that she thinks some more happened to her than just a video. Plus, she told me that Nathan Prescott gave her a ride from the party to the ER. And she thinks he did something to her, but she doesn't remember what. It's hard to believe that it's hard to it's not it's hard not to believe Kate 
considering what kind of person she is and what kind of person Nathan is. I've seen for myself exactly what that fucker is capable of. Of course, Kate asked if she should go to the pr police and the principal. I felt like absolute shit, but I told Kate she shouldn't go to anybody until she has proof that she was drugged. That video doesn't help her cause at all, and this could all backfire big time. She's going up against the whole Prescott Empire, not just one rich white boy on dope. She wasn't too thrilled by my answer. I don't think she trusts me to be the one investigating all this. How can I blame her? Sometimes I wonder what I am actually doing, besides getting myself in more trouble. Kate even booted me out of her room. Hello, everyday hero. I ran into Warren, or rather, Warren was waiting to run into me. Naturally, he wanted to know what the hell happened in the parking lot with the Chloe and Nathan show. Once again, I felt like a dick because I should have gotten a hold of Warren to see if he was okay after we had just left him in the lot. I do owe Warren. I only told him a little about what was going on with Nathan. The less he knows, the better for him. I would love to at least tell him about my ability to fucking reverse time and space, but ironically, I don't think hes it's the right time or space. <laughs> Besides, he would want to marry me immediately just so he could have his own human time machine. Or capture me for scientific experiments. Or make me go to the drive-in with him. Oh wait, I did say I would go to the drive-in with him. Hope he doesn't make a lame move on me. Not that he would, egomaniac. Born and I do have a lot in common, but he's like a super cool geek brother. Anyway, I definitely need a movie to escape. Before catching the bus out to meet Chloe, I saw Nathan talking David, which makes which made me nervous. Otherwise, I had a s nice soundtracked ride, well, not for us, to the, w to the Two Wheels Diner. Talk about going back in time. I haven't seen a diner in five years, but it looks exactly the same. Although now there are way less fishermen and way more dumped food carts than when we were kids. Chloe and I had the best backdrop to play pirate. Old ships in a big ocean. All right, we got some pictures here. And a sun. Next to the diner. Ha ha, that's where I am. So we're going to take that. Man, that's obscure. That's super obscure. All right. But now we got that. Fire walk with me. Okay. All right. But that does it for episode or epi Life is Strange episode 2, part 2. I hope you guys are enjoying the game so far. I certainly still am. Can't wait to see what happens next and once we go into that diner, we'll reunite with my old best friends mother so we'll see how if she's cordial or not anyway as always i hope you guys take care and have a great night bye bye